this is it guys. Today is the last day that the Storm Cloud Gray Plasti Dip will be on our Infinity G35 Coupe. Let's go ahead and get a nice cold start and bring her in the garage. What is up dudes and dudettes, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Today is a, uh, an exciting but a sad day because we're gonna be removing the good old storm cloud gray uh, Plasti Dip from dpcar.com that we've had on our car now for about a year and two months. I'm hoping that it comes off easy. I've seen a lot of horror stories of people peeling off their dip and it's just getting stuck and they gotta use like goo gone and things like that. Um, I tried to do as much preventative things like to stop that from happening when I dip the car. So I wanted to make sure there was enough coats. We put like four gallons of Plasti Dip on this car. So uh, I'm hoping it's thick enough and just really easy to rip the whole thing off, kind of like a wrap or a, or a vinyl. Uh, so that's, that's, the, that's the plan. But um, in case uh, it gives us a little bit of problems, we'll just have to see and go from there. Maybe we got some, some Goo Gone we can use uh, on other you know, areas that might not be as, as heavy. But we'll see. With four gallons, I'm pretty sure it's pretty thick everywhere. We didn't even have to put any dip on the roof or on the trunk. So we were able to utilize that extra dip for all the panels and whatnot. I absolutely love the car with the Storm Cloud Gray. It kind of just makes it a real sick, like badass, low-key type of, of vibe for the car. And, uh, and the next color I'm going to do is going to be very similar, but it's not going to be Plasti Dip. I'm actually going to be painting the car in the future, so we'll have a video on that uh, coming around soon. We're going to be doing basically like a whole revamp on the G35. It's not running good. I'm sure you guys heard from the cold start today. It's having a little bit of fuel delivery issues. Everything looks okay with the, uh, with the fuel pressure and everything, so I'm thinking that I possibly just need some... A cleaning of the injectors or, or something's up with the tune uh, but we also need to uh, remove the engine again because we're gonna have to rip the tranny apart put a new clutch and probably put a new transmission on there as well if you guys have a CD09 manual transmission that you'd like to sell me uh, for a good price hit me up let me know I, I wouldn't mind to come and pick it up even if you guys are like a state or two away I'm here in South Florida so uh, yeah if you give me a good deal I'll come over there and pick it up. I got fifth gear slipping, all the synchros are going, the throw up bearing's bad, and with the turbos, you can't just drop the tranny because the turbos and the wastegates are in the way, so we gotta pull the motor out, which is, we've done it so many times that it ain't, it ain't shit to us now, so it's okay. But that'll be in the future, right now we're gonna see if we can actually get this dip off of the car. Let's do it. We brought the car over to Tennessee with the Storm Cloud Gray dip, we were hitting the mountains with it, we brought brought it to the track uh, before PBIR closed and we we're ripping it out there so we were repping the storm cloud gray dip for a while uh, it's definitely done us pretty good and uh, made the car look amazing but it's time to start switching things around and uh, go big or go home you know what I'm saying ever since day one this plastic dip right here on this door has been bugging the crap out of me I wanted to freaking just peel off the whole thing when I saw that this happened. I think it's because I put so many layers on so the layers underneath they were just like super dry by the time it was time to peel the peel when wet tape and it bridged and totally grabbed and started just peeling these since day one. So it's, it's a little worse now than it was on day one uh, a whole year ago but uh, it's, it's still annoying to look at but it's gonna be easy for us to just grab it and peel and oh my gosh <laughs> It's thick. At least it's really easy to peel. So we're going to go ahead and start with this. It's already peeling up. Come on. <laughs> oh yeah, this is going to be a task for sure. Okay, it's not too bad. Oh, she's coming off. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set the camera down and see if I can use both my hands here because I'm going to need it. All right. 
right, that took like 15 minutes just for the door. So not too bad, just a little harder to get everything out of the little nicks and crannies here in the door handle, but uh, as as expected, uh, I laid it down pretty thick. So all this is like, it's like a wrap material. So rubbery wrap material. So it should be easy to get it off of the rest of the car, uh, especially on the hood and the fenders and everything. Now I won't have to take it off of the rear bumper, we're actually changing the rear bumper. So next video we're going to be uh, changing that with like a custom rear bumper we got from a friend. We're going to be cutting it out and everything, it's going to be freaking awesome. So we'll be showing you guys that next video. Uh, let's see if we can get the rest of this wrap off of the front end here, see if we can get that rolling. Email Newman at Sarah at gmail.com or you can uh, send it over to me on Instagram uh, at double AG35. Really appreciate your submissions. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you smash that like button and we'll get back to it. Dang, this is looking so weird. This is like throwback G35, except for now it's twin turbo and everything. Yo, and got the Nismos on. What's good? Yeah, I was looking so weird. I got to do the A pillar still, and I got to do this side right here, and the rear quarter panels, which is coming along pretty good so far. I'm gonna finish this fender off camera. Go ahead and turn it around. We'll finish the rear end. Do you guys hear that grinding noise when I was coming inside? That is the transmission. I think the throw out bearing or something is up with the clutch or the tranny where it just grinds like crazy when I when I release the clutch. It's 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 going to be annoying and uh, yeah, definitely an issue. So we're going to address that. We're going to be pulling the motor and changing the clutch and probably changing the transmission as well uh, in the coming uh, videos. So stay tuned. This thing is getting a like full revamp we ain't playing around but let's continue removing all this plastic that we still got the door the a pillars and the rear quarter panel on both sides and we're not going to be doing the bumper because we're doing away with the bumper and we're not going to be doing the side skirts either because we're getting new side skirts as well so let's get the rest of this out of here Dude's garage is a mess, but the entire G35 minus the bumper and the side skirts has been unplasty dipped, and you can see there's a whole bunch of plasty dip still in the corners. I mean, I could, if I really spent time, I can go along and grab every single little one. But since we're gonna be painting this car, uh, we're gonna be removing the headlights, the tail lights, all that good stuff, and we'll be able to get in there uh, real up and close and be able to peel all that off instead of spending more time to get it out with my fingers like this. So there's other ways or methods to get uh, the little bit of plasty dip that is left over. Um, I'm probably gonna spray it with some like uh, some goo gone or whatever let it sit for a little bit And then I could take it over to a do-it-yourself car wash and just hit it with a pressure washer And that should lift up most of this stuff. Um, it's not super thin. It's just thin enough to be annoying for me to peel off it'll just eventually break and be really difficult to take off so most of the a pillar here I think I think mainly just because the Sun hits it and it, it was sanded down already uh, so it's really sticky for the Plasti Dip to stick to it. Uh, all the factors of it being there, maybe I didn't give it enough uh, Plasti Dip to be thick enough for me to pull it off easy. But regardless, we got most of it off. I got it all over the place. In some places it was super thick, really strong material. So Dip Your Car did a really good job with this formula. Um, we had the black base coat and then we had the Storm Cloud Gray uh, mixed in with the Dip uh, clear coat or pearl and it came out amazing but we're ready to move on to 
another awesome color. Let me know what color you guys think we are gonna uh, be painting the G35. It's probably gonna be coming in the next couple of weeks. We still wanna focus on the whole transmission and engine issues that we're having right now, which we'll be diving into. So some more educational content coming for you guys in the future. Next Friday, we're gonna be tearing up the rear end and we're gonna be making a one of a kind unique rear end for our G35 before it goes in for the bodywork slash paint. So I'm gonna see you guys with that next Friday at five o'clock. I'll see you guys then. Take it easy. Thank you.